Hello everybody! This is uh, JT's Reviews here and today I'm going to be reviewing this Samson Blu-ray player I unboxed about seven or eight months ago. Now I am making a review on this because I've had a long time, you know, have a go with this sort of technology. And let me just say, there's a good reason why I've ripped this out. Normally I don't rip out technology unless I need to show you, like the Roku for example. But I had to rip this one out and get myself a brand new DVD player. And I got it today. Not because it broke down today, which was actually the 16th of July 2016. This broke down a couple of months ago. So you may be wondering, how did this break down? Well, the problem with these DVD slash Blu-ray players is they don't vent them properly. There's airing on the back, but it's not venting. Okay, now, to start with, this was really good. I played a few Blu-rays on it. I played Red Dwarf 10, and I also played a 2012 movie, and the quality was outstanding on my TV. True, my TV wasn't so great, but yeah. So basically this Samsung device didn't last long at all um, because after a long period of time it was chugging away and didn't sound very healthy. Afterwards the drive just packed in and that was the end of that. So this is why I'm reviewing it. I'm basically warning you guys if you get something like Samsung, you're going to have a few problems. One, it has catch up TV on this which is a bit pointless as there's only a shite player that works on this thing even with the brand new update and then there's the YouTube app which is a bit glitchy so don't bother with this thing uh, the, the, the drive fails and things go wrong and uh, you, you would have thought with the USB on this thing as well that you could easily put a DVD drive or something on it so you can continue playing DVDs off this crappy lacking piece of technology we have today and uh, no you can't you only can use USB devices you're thinking great I can do all that sort of stuff but it's a bit of a bother if you want to watch something on your TV you might as well just use a, a laptop and plug it to HDMI and then use the Blu-ray DVD player that's probably on your computer or your laptop this is pointless now on the back you do get your LAN your I don't know, some sort of audio out, um, HDMI, and that's about it. You don't get any connectors on the back to plug it into a stereo, which is fucking stupid. Uh, another thing I hate about this was it was lacking in everything. It was lacking in, well, it was, <laughs> it was lacking in everything because, you know, you can't, you know, plug this into your stereo because it only has, whatever the fuck that is, Cortex or whatever the hell it is. And then there's LAN and then there's, you know, the, the HDMI out, which is near nothing. I mean, I could get new equipment, but why should I bother when this equipment doesn't last you long? Because they want you to spend more money. Anyway, back to the review. The DVD comes out like that, and it comes out like a little shelf. Uh, easily breakable, in my opinion. Um, as I said, this is pretty small. has a sensitive area here for your... Uh, you're ejecting your power, your play, and your stop. Now, let me just point forward. If you have dust on this thing, you try and wipe it off. One problem, and that is it's so sensitive. If you're playing a DVD while you're dusting, don't bloody bother because it will cancel the DVD or do something. Uh, another reason you shouldn't have sensitive buttons on your crappy Blu ray player is because it's easily turned off so basically this is going with the rest of the, the friggin equipment I have in the bin but what do I rate this thing well to start with the quality was amazing I'll give that an 8 out of 10 for the iPlayer and all that I have Roku anyway but I used it one day what, what a big mistake that was I had to get a, a LAN cable I updated it and it said it was already updated even though it looked outdated YouTube player didn't work very well it kept glitching 
Uh, iPlayer also kept glitching. It, it wasn't as good as my Roku box, to be honest. And um, so I ripped out the LAN cable. There's no Wi-Fi on this thing. I know there's new models of it. Uh, another thing that annoys me is cheap plastic. Come on, guys. Uh, I think it's plastic or some sort of metal. I don't know, acting like plastic. But still, this is just terrible. Um, absolute terrible. Um, there's a I mean, LAN on the back. I mean, come on. Anyway, back to DVD quality. Yeah, DVD quality and Blu-ray quality. Six to eight out of ten. Excellent. But when you're using this for the iPlayer and all that, five or six out of ten maybe. Maybe okay. Not the greatest, but it works. Um, would I recommend this for streaming shit? Nope. I would actually tell you to get yourself a Roku box or a better DVD player that has a, that function on board. Or get a smart TV. They're near the same price as a TV these days. Anyway, um, so yeah, that's your plug. One advantage over the Sony one that I just shown uh, with the um, box is you do get a very long plug, which is nice. Unfortunately, you don't get a long life out of it. And uh, if you have this playing like non-stop, you're going to have problems. But if you're a person out there that only turns it on regularly, this could last you up to about two years, maybe even less. But, you know, if you're like playing it non-stop, eight months, but with cheaper technology I have laying around from Tesco itself, they actually do last longer, believe it or not. I believe that Technic one behind me is still going, even though it is a bit... It is acting its age now, but even though it choked one time, it's still, you know, running kind of strong. It works, and it plays DVDs. I mean, it plays up, but as I said, it's getting to its age now. Um, to begin with, I thought there was something really, really wrong with the DVD player. Then I uh, then got that Samsung thing, and wish I never bothered because that was still working. It was just choking. Um, but after a while of it curling down, it works fine. So. I don't know. These DVD players, what the fuck? I mean, I, I know what they're trying. I think I know what they're trying to do. No, I'm not going to put that up anymore. They're trying to make products like that not last long, so you keep buying them. That is not worth any of your money. Right there. That's just what I'm saying. Anyway, that's my review of that. Sorry, it was a bit ranty, but it's a horrible device if you want it long term. The player is rubbish, but the uh, Blu-ray player part of it is good so if you're getting that just for the Blu-ray part fair enough if you already got a DVD player but you just want a Blu-ray don't replace it with that thing just use the Blu-ray part of it and that would be the end of it because it's not gonna last you long anyway <laughs> cheers